Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the latest edition of Crease Take as we talk about Alex Nedeljkovic in his second season in the NHL. As he's had some struggles this year for the Detroit Red Wings, but I'm here to tell you I think he's still a very fine and very good NHL goaltender. He's going to be a good level starter in this league for years to come and has just hit a sophomore slump. But before we go on, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the East Dues widget to help us grow to 215 by the end of March. Really appreciate all your, all your love and support. But Nadelkovich, so far in his career, he came in like a bat out of hell for Carolina last year, and then they moved on from him and were able to get Freddie Anderson and Antti Ranta, so there's no threat for them. But he came in and went ballistic. Forget stats that were a 932 and a 190 for Nadelkovich. He just looked zoned in for Carolina in 2020-21 season. He looked like he didn't care about the pressure. He was third in the quarter. He did, there was nothing that seemed to phase him. Where also, obviously, in Rob Rindenworth's team, they played this great con- concise system defensively where they're still bringing in guys, getting in all the talent around for Bl- Jeff Blashill so he can implement his system fully, which you're seeing start to take effect in full effect this year in Detroit and is starting to really head in the right direction. And I think Nedeljkovic is going to be a big part of that. Of course, they have Sebastian Kosa um, in the organization as well, who I think is going to be a big part of the goaltending going forward. But I do think Nedeljkovic is going to be that very good starter that's going to be able to hold the position at least until Kosa's ready to have it. If not, them guys being a platoon in the future. Because to me, Nedeljkovic, he's not one of the biggest cats in there. You tend to see goalies above six foot, the 5'11s of nowadays but he is exactly six foot about 190 but he moves side to side very well from watching him watch a lot of him last year watch a decent amount of Detroit this year and always watch uh, most nights at least four out of five nights um a week or four out of the seven nights out of the week I should say watch the all the condensed game uh he's he's a very sharp guy and a fun guy to watch in net this year he's just been sloppy with his stick sometimes with trying to make plays because he is a good net go- goaltender at going out of the net and trying to set up for his defenseman that that also can set you up for mistakes. And this year compared to last year he's made more mistakes. There obviously he had the really bad five hole goal the other day, but crap happens. Um, he's a very good net minder that sound in net, very athletic. Probably one of the quicker guys in terms of anticipation. I do really like his anticipation. And just like I really talked up how much I like Jake Ottinger at first on Pirlo's Wisdom, Pearls of Wisdom show, check out Pirlo Wisdom's channel. Definitely recommend him for hockey. But I thought about how much I like Jake Ottinger and look at what he's doing with Dallas right now. We already saw Nadelkovich have a great first season. And in conclusion, the big thing we have to keep in mind for this very talented goaltender is he hasn't even played a full season's worth of games yet. His next game is only going to be his 72nd game, according to Pro Hockey Reference. Um, that's, that's not even a full season's worth of games yet. So I think this guy, when it comes to the eyesight, I see a very good goaltender every time you watch him. He makes some of those young mistakes like trying to swipe the puck away, for example, and having that go through his five hole, or trying to be a little bit over aggressive in net at time. But I think he can really hone that in. It's not like he's Peter Morazic over aggressive coming out of the net ridiculously at time. That is kind of tough to hone in. He's a guy that really plays the puck well most times than not and also is very good positionally, and obviously, like I said, is a very good anticipator because he doesn't have the most size in that. He's only six foot 190. But this has been a quick video on Alex Adelkovich, just hitting a bump in the road, but still, to me, is going to be a very fine goaltender in this league and at least be the starter for Jeff Blaschill and the Detroit Red Wings and Steve Eisenman's Detroit Red Wings until Sebastian Coast is ready, and I think that's why he brought him in. Stevie Y, I don't think he's worried at all about this little slump for Nadelkovich. He knows what he has in him, and he knows he's going to be a good goaltender. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please subscribe down below to keep the channel growing. Peace out, everybody.